St. Catharines native Jess Phelan loves cycling, culture and the great Canadian outdoors. She loves it so much that on June 1st she set out on her bike from St. John's for a solo cross-country adventure. And the best part is she's raising funds and awareness for a great cause. When I decided to bike across the country, I got um, a lot of responses from people that they thought it was maybe too dangerous for me to do it as a woman traveling alone um, and learned, you know, in response to their concerns that women in Canada are three times more likely to be killed by their spouses and intimate partners than by a stranger. So um, raising money for women affected by violence seemed like the right thing to do. What have been some of your personal highlights so far? Getting across Newfoundland was the most incredible feeling. It's a really difficult province to cycle. Um, a lot of hills, a lot of a lot of hard weather. So getting to um, the, the far end and getting on that ferry was definitely a personal highlight. Um, getting into St. Catharines last night, coming here today and seeing all of the people out to support me and to support Jillian's place was really incredible. What have you brought along in this adventure? Basically everything I need to survive for, you know, three to four months. I've got, you know, tent, sleeping bag, all the usual camping gear, food, water, clothes, all of that right on my bicycle. Your strength, your Tana, courage, can you tell me your thoughts on the fundraising efforts from Jess so far? Amazing energy. Wow, so we're, we're very, just amazed at her efforts. Not only is she a young person you know, in the community he, who maybe doesn't have her own personal experience with violence, but knowing that she just wants to raise money for such an important cause in her own community, we're just so amazed and inspired by her. How important are these funds for programs and services that you offer here at Jillian's Place? Well, here at Jillian's Place, we're, as you may know, we're funded by the ministry, but there's a large part of what we do that we raise our own funds for. So Jess's efforts, just like anybody else in the community who chooses to raise funds for us, are crucial to us, uh, the success of our supports. How have people responded to your motivation for completing this ride? I think some people um, are surprised they aren't aware of the statistics about violence against women in, in this country, um, but overall the support has been really overwhelming from people. Now, are you concerned at all traveling alone? I'm not really. There's moments where I, you know, I, I, I do, I am afraid for one reason or another, but it's usually things like traffic. It's not for my personal safety from other people. People in this country have been amazing to me so far, and I hope that will continue. <laughs> now, what are you looking forward to as you make your way out to British Columbia? mountains. I'm so looking forward to seeing the Rockies. I'm so looking forward to that moment where I can roll my bike right into the Pacific Ocean and say I did it. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Jess hopes to finish her 9300 kilometer cross Canada tour in early September. You can show your support by visiting JessBikesCanada.com. In St. Catharines, I'm Norgene Howard reporting for The Source.